you say. Good luck getting one of the guards to help with anything. I tried to get Ulfric to even come down here to see the squalor, but the High Lord of His Mightiness couldn't find the time. Where else would we be? When the Red Mountain burned, you could scarcely breathe in Morrowind, so we came west. Windhelm was the first city on that road, and here we are. If we had known the Nords would be so unwelcoming, we may have kept walking. The College of Winterhold is the only place in Skyrim open-minded enough to teach magic. Although Ulfric's court wizard has been known to take on apprentices once in a while. Take a look. All right, I'm gonna see if I have, uh, if I can sell this guy anything. Actually, all he wants is food and ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that stuff because I like to uh, make alchemy shit with that. If you need another drink? I'll be right here. Let's see what we got up top. A lot of shit that we could steal. Eh, let's just continue on. Oh, that's nice. Plentiful healing. Man, fucking invest in a coin purse. Look at that. Hit all those laying out. Put a get a coin purse. And put your shit in there. It'd be a lot easier for everyone. For me to steal and for you to you to uh, keep hold of. Alright, I guess that's it. Really nothing else up here. I mean, there's some shit right here. We'll see if anything's worth stealing. And it doesn't look like it. That didn't even give me anything. That's weird. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Continue uh, talking to the Dark Elves and maybe get a quest from them. I'm, I'm surprised that we haven't got a quest from them yet. Alright, so now we have another shop. Sadira's something wares. Useful wares, I think that's what it says. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. All my goods are legitimate. Which is more than I can say for some. Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. Oh, hey, I was there, and Don't I killed some uh, some shit there. I killed all those uh, those uh, magic people. I know, I'm gonna sneak it back. I was just seeing if you have any. Do you have anything I could buy from you? Yeah, let's see what you got for sale. Let me see. I definitely could uh, sell you some shit. Let's see what I have to give you. I want all that stuff. Scrolls. I don't really use scrolls. It's like a limited one-time use. I never even bother with it. I, I never saw the point. I think I already have healing. I think this is the one I have. So you can have that. You can have that. You can have that. And I will take the treasure map. I mean, I will keep the treasure map. This guy doesn't have much gold left. 
Let me look at that real fast, the treasure map. I'm kind of curious. I have 6,000 gold, by the way. That's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty good, I, I would say. Uh, what was it? Books. Oh, so they have, like, a little treasure hunting thing. Kind of like Red Dead Redemption, how they have their little treasure hunting. Okay, so it looks like... I'm guessing the dash, the W R. What would that mean? It looks like maybe that that's a road. The little dashes. They're either roads or that's the river. The stables right there. Oh, you know what that is? I think that's White Run. That's White. Yeah, W R White Run. And then there's the stables and there's Dragon Reach at the top. You go across. You go down and then there's something in the mountains. A treasure chest or something. And there's like like a guard tower or, or uh, some kind of farming tower or something. Do come again. Next time we go to White Run, we'll do that. And there's something else we need to or White Want White Run uh, as well. And that's to there's a quest there, uh, the one that find the the red guard, the woman. I didn't know where she was, but someone left me uh, a comment saying that uh, she was in the bar. I think I got I have to look at the comment to be to double check. So once we go back there again, we'll go ahead and check that out. I'm just trying to find, find my way around. That's the way out. Or another way out, I should say. And this is... Okay, so now we're pretty much done with the whole dark... Dark Alps quarters, because this is where we started at. So let's head to the other side of the city. Actually, I want to see if there's... A house anywhere. Because they said that one guy was... Uh, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood, and I want to see that. Yeah, I don't know where his house at is at. Just to keep going. I think it was a Nord that was talking to him. It was a dark elf that was explaining to me what happened though, so who knows? We'll head in there in a minute. I just want to explore the city real fast and, and then we'll head in there. Another guy wandering around. Let's see if he has anything to say. I lost my family years ago. Truth is, I don't really know what keeps me going. There's an author named Adonato staying at the inn. He's published a few works of historical fiction. The clans Shattershield and Cruelcy see most of the gold that passes through the city. And obviously you have Ulfric, the Jarl and future High King. Oh, and that busybody Viola Giordano. She's got her nose in everyone's business, which I guess is one way of being prominent. Well, nothing. At least not anymore. Folk just call me that because of what I used to do. I was a sailor for many a year. I made my coin as a trader, and in time, I bought my own ship. When I retired here in Windhelm, most folk already knew me as Captain Lonely Gale, and the name just stuck. Terrible shame, that. Seems we have a killer on the loose here in Windhelm. He's claimed three victims that I know of, though maybe there's more that haven't been found yet. All lovely ladies, too. Let's hope the gods find that demon soon and introduce him to the headman's axe. If you're looking to pass the time, you can give Calixto a few septims and gawk at whatever oddity he's come across lately. If you're in need of goods, there's a market. If it's a soft bed and a hot meal you're after, there's Candlehearth Hall. Alright, so there's been murders. I wonder if I'm ever going to get that quest or if I have to figure that out for myself. I forgot to put this quest on, so I'm going to throw that on real fast and see where that leads me. Let me look real fast. Oh, so it's just down there. The butcher could be around any corner. After what happened to those other women, I'm worried about my own safety. Yeah, if I said that, that would be kind of a bitch. I'm gonna go break into her house and plant it there. Where is this your fucking house? That's the place. Okay. I need to look at the local map. It's all the way over there, so this is just leading me out. Cool leader, fucking, what the hell is that for? I guess we can go in here, the hall, which they have uh, food and bed, and I'm guessing a lot of people are going to be here so we can talk to them. And I kind of want to talk to that little boy in the orphanage. I forgot, I don't know what his name was, so, and I haven't found his house yet, so we'll see. I'm a it's good to spend some time on solid land. Another dark elf. 
just what Windhelm needs. Did you see the candle above the